Building a digital product is something that you can do only once, but you can then sell it for unlimited amount of times over the next five to 10 years. And if you use the free traffic sources that we will be talking about in this tutorial, your profit margins will be almost 100%. If you don't know who I am, my name is Dave Nick, and over the past couple of years, I made millions of dollars selling digital products such as courses, eBooks, PDF guides, and much more. And this is a complete step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can sell digital products online. This is everything you will need to start a successful online business selling digital products from A to Z so make sure to either save this video or take notes along the way and you can of course re-watch this video as much as needed to make sure that you get all the information right so for now we will quickly run over the overview of this tutorial so you will know exactly what you will get out of this video so I'm gonna get straight to the point and first of all we're gonna be talking about what is actually a digital product because if you're gonna build a million dollar business selling digital products then it is important to understand what digital products actually are and how they they actually work now after that we're gonna be talking about 15 different types of digital products that you can sell we're gonna be talking about all the benefits of selling a digital product and why if you are not selling a digital product right now or if you're not planning to do that in the future you are living hundreds of thousands of dollars per year on a table and I don't think that's very, very smart. After that, I'm gonna share from my personal experience what is actually the honest truth about this business that a lot of people don't realize or a lot of people make a mistake about this business and I'm basically gonna break that for you. I'm gonna help you decide what you're actually gonna be selling and what type of digital product, who you're gonna be selling your digital product to. I'm gonna share my framework for building a successful digital product and exactly the framework that I use for building my million dollar digital courses and other type of digital products. I will share with you best tools and platforms that you can use, some of the platforms that we never talked about before on this channel or some of the platforms that you probably never even heard about. Then we're gonna go through building a sales page for your digital product and finally we're gonna talk about marketing and sales and how to actually turn that digital product into a profitable online business. Now let us begin with first of all what is a digital product? A digital product is a virtual product or service that offers some form of utility to a human human being. In other words, all digital products from an online course, mobile app to a website experience attempt to solve a problem for a group of people trying to accomplish something. So the way I look at digital products is a bridge from a person A to a solution B or a painkiller. So someone has a problem that they want to solve, now you can solve that problem for them or you can, get, you can close that gap with a digital product, whether that's a course, whether that's a PDF guide or anything else that you are trying to solve sell. Even an app like Tinder is also a bridge to someone getting in a relationship. They have a pain, they want to get in, in a relationship with someone, they can use an app like Tinder. Or buying a course, someone wants to learn how they can, how to cook. Now they can buy a course that teaches them exactly how they can cook. So a digital product is a virtual product or service that offers some form of utility to a human being. Now what are the 15 different types of digital products that you can sell online and build a profitable online business around? So first of all, we obviously have courses, we have ebooks, we have music and audio files, we have photography, data, web elements, tutorials and guides, software, recipes, apps, printables, templates, games, coaching, and consulting. So we're gonna go through all of these and I'm gonna tell you which one is my favorite type of digital product to sell. And then after that, we'll decide what is gonna be the best one for you because you only wanna pick one specific type of product to sell, focus 100% of the digital product and go all in to build a million dollar or multi-million dollar business around it. Now let's quickly go over the benefits of selling a digital product and why you are missing out if you are basically not running a digital products business in this day and age. So first of all, unlike physical goods, a digital product is limitless. There is no limit to how much you can sell. And as I said in the beginning, you can create it once and you can sell it for unlimited amount of times and you never have to replenish your inventory because there is no inventory. And there's a lot of benefits when there's no inventory, unlike with physical products. And because of that, it's basically a perfect form of passive income. I know passive income may sound a little bit cringy, but honestly, it's a perfect form 
of passive income. You create a digital product once, you can build it in one day, and if you have the marketing and system in place, you can get sales over the next couple of months, years, or even a decade, and if that's not a true form of passive income, then I don't know what it what is, because you can create a digital product that's worth $500, and even if you sell five pieces a month over the next 10 years, that's two and a half thousand dollars a month in pure passive income and pure profits, if you have the marketing systems in place the right way, which is something that we will talk about later on in this video. And you also don't need to actually be any special person or an expert to sell a digital product or a digital course. And this is also something that we will go on in details later on in this video, because it's extremely important that you understand that and why that is important. There's obviously little to no cost at all for building a digital product because there's also no staff members or whatsoever. And unlike with physical products that you have to assemble, then you have to manufacture and ship around the world and whatnot, digital products can be created for free. You have something valuable, you have some knowledge, or you know how to create music, or you know how to create some template or a printable. You can do that for completely free or by spending 10 bucks on a software or whatsoever to build it. And you can sell it for unlimited amount of times. So little to no cost at all for digital products. No shipping or any overhead, people can instantly access your digital products with one click of a button from all around the world. You are to no staff members are needed. Like, think about it, if you're starting a physical business, your business is not even profitable yet, but you still have to hire staff members to actually work on your business, and that's obviously costing a lot of money. But when starting an online business, especially with digital products, you can run a million dollars a year online business selling digital products, and you can have no employees or no staff members or whatsoever. Of course, after some time, once you start scaling to millions and millions of dollars a year, you can start hiring some people. But if you compare it to starting a physical business where you have to hire members in most of the cases before you even start making any money, it's just much, much easier and better. With digital products, you can easily reach a global market and a global audience because if you have a physical business, like let's say a barber shop or a coffee shop that's in a specific city, you're obviously tied to that one single location. You can't really, if your, your barber shop is in Bali, you can't reach the market in New York or in India or in Philippines. You're, you're tied to that one single location. But with digital products, you can market from all around the world and you can have people buying from India, from New York, from Philippines, from France, from Italy. It doesn't matter. There's going to be people from all around the world that can access your digital products with one click of a button and you can charge them all. And because all of that, you had personal freedom of time and freedom of location. You don't have to be, you're not tied to one specific location because there's no inventory that you have to be like, like there's all of your products are in New York, so you gotta stay in New York. It doesn't work like that. When you sell a digital product, you can be on a tropical island like Bali, or you can be on the Alps. It doesn't matter, you can be anywhere in the world, so you get all the freedom of time and the freedom of location. And as we talked about before, there are way higher profit margins when selling digital products than physical products, because as I said, you can create them for free, and once you sell them, you keep almost 100% of the profits, while when you sell a physical product or a physical service, in most of the cases, the profit margins are very, very thin. Now let's talk about the most common misconception when it comes to building a digital products online business, and that is that you need to be special or you need to be an expert in order to sell something. And that's just not true because no matter who you are, you know something or you have something that millions of people around the world either don't know or don't have access to. Like even if it's, for example, you know how to create logo designs in Photoshop. There's millions of people out there that would love to create logos in Photoshop, but have no idea how to do it. So now you can create a tutorial showing people step by step how to create logo designs in your way in Photoshop. And you can charge people $10 for it. It doesn't matter. If you have the marketing right, you can get thousands of people buying that product. It's going to take you two hours to create it. And you can sell it unlimited times again and again and again for years and years to come. And the reason I know this is because I recently launched the Online Business Academy platform, which is like a platform for people to sell digital courses on related to online business. And don't worry, I got nothing to sell. The reason I'm saying this is because the business business model behind the Online Business Academy is we find experts in different categories. For example, someone knows how to make, let's say, $3,000 a month with dropshipping or email marketing or affiliate marketing or CP marketing or Instagram or TikTok or crypto, whatever it is. Let's say, for example, they know how to make some money with dropshipping. Now they can build a course and list it on the Online Business Academy platform where we are getting hundreds of thousands of visitors per month from paid ads, from referrals, from search results, from YouTube, all the different ways that we drive traffic to the Online Business Academy. And if they build a course showing exactly how they make $3,000 a month with dropshipping and they list their course for, let's say, $400 one time, it's a huge win-win for both sides. Now, when a student buys that course for $400, they're going to get a skill that's going to stay with them for a lifetime and they might potentially build a dropshipping
in business that's gonna make them thousands of dollars per month so they are happy with that they got their re return on investment and the person who built a course once sold it for four hundred dollars is also happy because now they get to scale their business a lot faster because if they get just a hundred sales per month that's forty thousand dollars per month and basically pure profit and passive income so they get to make a lot more money now with a lot less work now getting access to the online business academy is something that i will be charging at least eight thousand dollars for in the future but as of right now i'm offering six absolutely free spots so if you do have some skills or you know how to make money in some way whether that's once again drop shipping drop servicing youtube tiktok instagram i feel like marketing cpa marketing whatever that might be you can apply through the link in the description box down below and you can schedule a call with me and i'm going to send an application link where you can apply and tell us why you think you will be a suitable creator for the online business academy and there is a bunch of benefits over there because people can build their brands a lot faster because they can leverage the online business academy platform with hundreds of thousands of visitors and i also guarantee that the digital product will be profitable right away profitable and successful from the start because we already have a huge database of people that are hungry to learn new ways to start an online business or new ways to make money online and once again for now that's absolutely free for the next six people that get accepted so you think you will be suitable for this position make sure to take the time to actually apply using the first link in the description box down below and schedule a call with me and then my team and i will start working with you to build a successful digital product from the start and also list it on the online business academy getting you traffic customers and sales from the start but anyways if even if you don't get a chance to work with me and my team for listing your digital product on the online business academy there is still hope so let's get back to the tutorial so let's talk about what are you actually selling and who are you selling it to so first of all you will decide which type of digital product are you going to sell whether that's going to be an audio file whether that's going to be a template whether that's going to be a pdf guide whether that's going to be a recipe for something that you know how to cook like for example you know how to cook really good pasta now you can create a recipe and you can sell it for unlimited amount of times so you can create templates you can create cover designs you can create core Courses, guides, whatever that is. You will have to decide what that's gonna be. Let's say, for example, you wanna build a digital course. You will have to think about a digital course as a bridge. So you are basically building a bridge for someone. And then you will need to think about who are you gonna be selling this to? Who is the ideal person that actually needs that bridge? So you wanna make sure that you are actually thinking about a person that has a specific problem. For example, if you wanna sell a dropshipping course, you will have to think about who are the people that are interested in starting a dropshipping business. You will have to have them in mind when deciding how are you gonna build the product. And so let's say you decided that the type of digital product that you wanna sell is a digital course. Here's a framework that I've been using when building my digital courses. So first of all, of course, you wanna outline the course first. You wanna write all the different modules and lectures and then you wanna start recording. And then once you finish recording, you just upload those to a certain platform that we will be talking about later on in this video. And that's how you have a course. That's how you have a digital product that you can sell for unlimited amount of times. And so the framework begins with a welcome message with a welcome module where you basically welcome the student, you congratulate them on making a decision to get that change in their life, and you tell them about all the basics regarding the training program that you created for them. After that, you will show results or the desired outcome to motivate the student to keep on going through the training program. You will tell them this is what is waiting for you at the end of the training program if you follow what I'm showing. So whether that's a successful dropshipping store, whether that's a really good logo design in Photoshop, whether that's six pack abs, whatever it is, it really depends on what type of program you're creating and what is the solution that you're providing, but you want to show results that you already achieved that and you want to basically remind the, the student that he can get the desired outcome. Then the part the three of the framework are subject to basics. So you're going to talk about basics of dropshipping, basics of drop servicing, basics of creating a logo, basics of cooking, basics of fitness, basics of whatever it is that you are creating. You're basically going to go through the basics and maybe even talk about the terminology that is commonly used in that space. Because if someone is completely new in that space, they're not necessarily going to know all of the terminology and the words that are being used. So you want to make sure that you have covered all of the basics and the stage number three after that you will share your secrets basically what is your secret sauce what is that that one thing that or a couple of things that not a lot of people know about but you know from your experience and that's going to save them time it's going to save them energy it's going to save them money and potentially help them make money a lot faster because they know your secret sauce they know your secrets so you're going to share your secrets in the stage number four then you're going to reveal specific details about you know creating and building a dropshipping store you're going to walk them through the process and show them exactly
exactly how to do it step by step, click by click, so they can easily follow the process and get the desired outcome easier, then you're gonna give them at the end, the stage number six is either an action plan, what to do next, or you will tell them to join the community, whether that's a Facebook group where all the other members of the course are in so they can interact with them, so they can network with them and whatnot, they can share results and success and stuff like that, they can ask questions, you're gonna give them access to a Discord group or a WhatsApp group or an Instagram chat, whatever it is, you can give them an access to the community or if you don't wanna build a community, you can just give them an action plan of what to do next. You will tell them, hey, the next thing that you wanna do is this, this and that, or maybe you even have an upsell to the next program, maybe they, they've learned how to do dropshipping but they don't know how to actually automate everything and scale their dropshipping business, so you can tell them that they can learn that in the next training program and in the next course and then that could be the stage number six for you. Now let's talk about three of the best platforms to sell your digital products on. Now first of them is obviously going to be the Online Business Academy but this is specifically for people that are interested in selling digital courses or digital products related to online business. And since everything is fully custom coded on the Online Business Academy, the entire platform and all the sales pages look basically a thousand times better than what's currently available on the market. So the conversion rate is much much higher and that's why I said I can literally guarantee that the product will be successful once it's listed on the Online Business Academy. The second not so good of a looking platform is gonna be Gumroad. This is another great platform to sell digital products. This is actually the first platform that I used when I started out and this is where I actually made my first money from digital products a couple of years ago when I was selling PDF guides and ebooks and whatnot. So this is a great platform for selling those like PDF guides and ebooks and stuff like that. You can scroll a little bit down and you can see all the different products, all the different types of digital products that, that you can sell. As you can see, you can sell designs, comics and graphics, you can sell audio files, you can sell courses, you can sell games, you can sell books, you can sell music, a lot of different stuff. And then you can create an account, click on start selling, create an account on Gumroad. And once you create an account, you're gonna have the products section on the left side where you can list your products for sale. You can click on new product right over here and you can start building either a digital product, course or tutorial, ebook, podcast, membership, uh, audio books, newsletters and stuff like that. And then you can check the analytics on the left side. You're gonna be able to track your views. You're gonna be able to track your sales, clicks and stuff like that. And you can check the payouts on the left side. If you wanna withdraw your money from Gumroad, uh, you can do that in the payouts section. So that's what gumroad.com, they also have a good, um, they also have a great uh, marketplace, but you're not gonna be getting sales from that marketplace. The only, I mean, yes, you can sometimes maybe get one or two sales from the marketplace, but a majority of the sales would come from you driving traffic to your own products on Gumroad. And then the next platform that you can also use is Teachable. That's where I currently host my, my courses. Teachable is a great platform to host your courses, to upload your courses, to upload your digital products, but it's not the best way to sell your digital products because sales pages look really, really bad on here. So you can go to Teachable.com, you can click on start for free and create an account. And then you can go to the courses section on the left side and you can start a new course over here. So you'll press the new course button and then you will start outlining the course using the framework that we talked about previously and you can start from there you can upload your lectures directly to teachable and then either host your sales page with another platform or you can also just build a sales page inside of teachable itself but they're honestly not that good they're more like 2010 wipes so if you want to build a sales page with teachable you will basically select your course for example i want to build a course i want to build a sales page for my automation systems course that is currently the most active course that i'm selling i will go through pages on the left hand side and then I can build a sales page from here. So I can basically click on edit and I can start customizing my sales page. As you can see, uh, this for now looks really, really bad and old. Like this is how the sales page would look like. Uh, there is not much, okay? And everything looks kind of old. So uh, you can definitely play around. You have the banner section, you have the image effect section, you have the button section, or you can change the enroll now button. You can select the pricing plans. You can change the button text. Uh, and here you have, you're gonna have the full course curriculum where people can see all the lectures that they're gonna get once they buy the course. Uh, and then you can add maybe proof of earnings along the page. Uh, you can change designs, you can change colors, you can add new blocks, obviously. Like you can add a block where you're gonna be have, you're only gonna have like a video, like a sales video and stuff like that. So it's pretty easy and simple to play around with Teachable and create a sales page. It's just not gonna look that good. And also you're not gonna be getting traffic from Teachable, meaning that all the traffic needs to come from you. So 
100% of the sales have to be influenced by you. you. You are not gonna be listed in Teachable Marketplace or anything like that. So there is not gonna be people finding you organically on Teachable or whatsoever. You have to rely on yourself for driving traffic to your own digital product, let's say a course. So yeah, those are some of the basics on how to build and sell a digital product online. I really hope you've learned something new in this video. And if you did, if you did get some value out of it, make sure to drop a like down below and I will see you in some of the next videos.